our last video, we talked about our inspiration for the shoot and our general ideas on how to complete it. Today's video is showing the pieces that we used in order to set up for the shoot itself. It'll involve things like the models used, the time location that we picked for the photo shoot, the clothing that we chose for the shoot, oftentimes making it ourselves, and the props that are used to complete it. Hi guys, my name is Melissa Damon and I'm one of the photographers for the shoot. Today we're going over the creativity that went into the shoot. Our models were uh, Miranda and Peter and they were big troopers for us because um, they came out not only during COVID but you know on a really really cold day and and had to change costumes and everything outside. So I'm so grateful that they volunteered to be our our first models for the shoot. Some of our props included a staff that Merlin was holding, um, which was um, Mike bought that off of Amazon. Um, although we have used one that we found by a railroad track, which was like a piece of like petrified or driftwood or um, just you know kind of something discarded by Mother Nature. Um, another piece that we used was a book. It looks like a very old book. It actually says War and Peace, but it's not. It's one of those like hidden book type things. And we used the acorns in order to kind of like hide the, um, the title so that you couldn't tell. Um, the other thing that we used for one of the shoots was a piece of fabric and our own little baby. Once again, another Amazon purchase. Uh, we tried to make them as realistic as possible for our little baby Arthur here. And then we wrapped him up. Um, for other props, um, there really wasn't much for other props. Uh, everything else was Mother Nature and costumes. Our time and location, Mike had scouted out um, a couple of different places and the weekend before I had gone to the Tri-Town Trail in Preston with my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my father-in-law, my two nephews and my son and we had a really great time. It's a beautiful trail and once it's finished it's supposed to go all the way down to Groton. So it seems like the perfect place to go and, and shoot the, the scene. I sent Mike down and he didn't even go 500 yards before he said this is the perfect place. Um, so that was the, the location. We literally did it one week after I went hiking there. Um, so we chose about the same amount of time. Uh, we wanted it to be like 12, 1-ish, 2-ish because with it being cold we didn't want to um, or I should say with it being winter, we didn't want it to be too cold and um, with how many trees there were um, and the fact that it's on a hill, we didn't want the sun to go down and have no sun at all. So we aimed for around like 12, 1 o'clock. Um, as for the clothing, usually in this section what I'll do is show you guys um, as I'm making a costume or when Mike's making armor. Um, but because it was our first one and we literally went, you know, one after another after another really quick, the costumes were already made from previous shoots. I toyed with the idea of making a new one, but, um, you know, we wanted it to be quick and easy. Uh, we literally came up with this shoot, I believe, in within a week's time from start to finish. Um, and we really didn't have much for a crew. It was myself and Mike and... We did have one extra crewmate, which was my son, who did some, my nine-year-old did videography for us. It was pretty funny, um, and he did a fabulous job, uh, and that would be it. There were three outfits in the shoot. Miranda had two outfits, and Peter had one that had two layers, the robe and the cloak. Miranda's first outfit was a worn brown dress. Originally, we wanted it to be blue because blue goes really good with brown but brown fit more with the story. We like the idea of this as her beginnings. She's blending in and she's one with nature. She's the element earth and is matching Merlin. It's a physical way of showing him that she's ready and willing to learn. 
Merlin's outfit was created for a different shoot long ago and had a story of its own. The inner robe was supposed to be beautiful and shiny and made for court. The outer robe was supposed to be old and tattered and muddy. In the story that we had created, he was using the outer robe as a way to blend in when he took the baby Arthur from court long ago. I made this for a photo shoot over a year ago with my friend Steve. Unfortunately, I was a little off with my focus and it wasn't as clear as we wanted, so we had to do the shoot again. As you probably guessed, Peter was our new model. The third and final outfit of the mix had to be vibrant and eye-catching. So I chose a bright red dress that I had used in a little red riding hoop shoot with the awesome Kylie years ago. Even though the dress isn't historically accurate, I wanted to show that she's powerful and making her own rules. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time.